Hello and welcome. This is today in the news. First, the highlights. Suspected headsmen attack community in Ondo State. Two churches in Zamfara set ablaze by unidentified hoodlums. NAVDAC bans registration of new alcoholic drinks in Sashay. Some suspected headsmen have attacked a community in the local government area of Ondo State on Sunday night. The headsmen who was gathered attacked the community at about 10 p.m. on Sunday. They reportedly killed the manager of a filling station in the town. Video of his lifeless body was posted on Facebook in the pool of his blood. Two churches in Zamfara have been set ablaze by unidentified hoodlums. The churches are located in Hayim Buba community within the heart of the state capital, Guso. The churches affected are the Redeemed Christian Church of God, Jesus the Rock, and Christ Intercessory and Miracle Church. The churches were set on fire on Monday morning. Though no life was lost, chairs, musical instruments, church documents, and other valuables were burned. Abdul Malik Tanko, the proprietor who allegedly killed Hanifa Abubaka and two other complices, Hashimo Shiaku and Fatima Musa, have been arraigned in a Kano magistrate court. They appeared before Justice Mahmoud Jibrin. The three accused persons have been charged with kidnapping, criminal conspiracy, concealing of truth, and culpable homicide, contrary to Section 97 of the Penal Code. <music> Chairman Chief Executive of the National Drug Law Enforcement Agency and DLEA, Brigadier General Mohamed Buba Marwa, retired, says a special task force is currently working across the country to track and dismantle drug cartels behind the production and distribution of methamphetamine, popularly called purumiri, being abused by youths in parts of the country. He stated this while answering questions from journalists at the press briefing at the agency's national headquarters in Abuja on Monday 24th, January 2022, to mark his first anniversary as chairman NDLEA. He challenged communities across Nigeria to take ownership of the war against drug abuse, as those in southeast states are doing by standing up to those engaging in abuse and trafficking of illicit drugs.